Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. William Ruto is seriously in a panic mode. When it comes to now, uh, the way he has come out to confront Mount Kenya region at large. When you look at all scenario that has been since the other day, when William Ruto came out demanding a tax from certain leaders that he claimed that they were having powers and they were not paying taxes, that there were certain exemption of them being, of course, uh, when it comes to payment of taxes. I want to say this. After that whole scenario came out, William Ruto again came when it comes to the issue that uh, 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 stormed the other day when it comes to the security of the former president and his all cabinet ministers that he was working with in the regime of Jubilee Party. I want to say this. William Ruto is seriously in a panic mode after these issues that he raised hitting so much Mount Kenya region and I want us to look at various issues that is likely making certain Mount Kenya leaders to regroup against William Samoe Ruto. And before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a visitor for the first time and you have not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor, ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos to get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of the great support. Now, William Ruto, after hitting Wurumege Kenyatta hard, Mount Kenya region, they've come out to have a movement against William Ruto. And I, I want us to look at various issues that has made now William Ruto to be in panic. Number one, the issue of taxation. Mount Kenya region have come out to claim and raise issue that William Ruto is targeting Gema Nation when it comes to the taxes. The reason behind it is that Mount Kenya or Gema Nation at large, they are well known when it comes to the business across the Republic of Kenya. So when you look at William Ruto's regime, now pinpointing and hitting too much to Gamer Nation, they are feeling like the promises that they were being promised now is not whatever they were, they were expecting. And that is why you see them now, they have come out to regroup themselves little by little. And you've seen even uh, the, the Rimaja and also, the, uh, of course, the... Um, the Jubilee Party, where there are certain leaders, Kikuyu leaders, Gamer Nation leaders, now they're coming out in a way to give their grievances that look, this person is hitting us hard when it comes to the taxation. As you know that we are doing businesses, we are having a bigger number of businesses across the Republic of Kenya, and when you look at this regime, it's so much hitting the Gamer Nation. It is not me saying, but when you look at even the identification, they are coming out to claim. I've not seen people from Nyanza coming out to claim about uh, maybe this issue of taxation. Though, it is hitting everyone across the Republic of Kenya because if a tax has been raised from all commodities, when a person from Murana went to a shop and buy a unga at 230 and person from Nyanza or Western or Coastal go to a shop and buy a 230 in the same. So taxation is across but you see, Gamer Nation leaders, certain of them, have come out to claim that because they're doing a number of businesses across the Republic of Kenya, it seems like this regime is so much hitting them. So they want that if taxes is being paid, let these taxes uh, be equally across the Republic of Kenya. Let not this regime come out to hit certain leaders in the Mount Kenya region to say that you people, you are doing a business, you are doing business, or you are in a, a government, but you are not paying taxes. So I want to say, even if William Ruto has come out to raise this issue of taxation, it is just to, about to hit certain individuals. Because when you, when you are telling someone that you are not paying tax, what happened? Because 
we want to see that uh, demand from the KRA. The only thing we are seeing is about pure politics. So it will be po uh, 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 it is about politicking about this taxation. Number two is that the promises that William Ruto came out promising Mount Kenya region. The leaders that supported William Ruto, some of them, are now coming back, making a U-turn, regrouping themselves under Jubilee Party, saying that they're going to be with Raila Amolo Odinga when it comes to the movement and barazas that are going to have across, of course, the Republic uh, of Kenya. So the demand is that they want that those promises that they promised must fulfill. Don't divert our attention. And that is whatever certain Mount Kenya leaders have come out to say. That we are the people that made you to be the president. As we speak now, there are certain leaders that are in Kenya Kwanza government that are disagreeing with what William Ruto is doing. That you are certain dividing our attention from the real situation and issues that you promised we as Mount Kenya region. Because when you look at various um, uh, counties across the Republic of Kenya, the, the same promises, the, the promises were not the same. You look at certain promise, promises that were in Muranga, Kirinyaga, and the different promises that was in Kisi, Nyanza, and Coastal, maybe Ukwambani. So Mount Kenya region have come out to say that you will not divert our attention because of Uhuru Kenyatta was not paying tax, because you withdrawn or downscaled the security of Uhuru Kenyatta. Do whatever you want, but the promises you must promise, uh, you must fulfill them. So that is why you see people are still wana yumba yumba. They're just trying to at least weigh something. But I want to say, as days goes by, things are not going to be favorable to William Samoe Ruto. I want to say again, things are not going to be favorable to William Samoe Ruto's regime. Reason behind it is that Mount Kenya region are feeling like they're being let down. When it comes to the issues that were addressed by this regime, at that time they were, of course, a wooing people to support their bid, it's not something that they are not doing. They are just diverting attention of Gamma Nation in a such a way that now they are, as they continue to talk about the security of Uhuru Kenyatta, wakiendelea na kungila maneno ya taxation of Uhuru Kenyatta, now times goes by. Then after that, the next election, they will say that, oh, we did this, oh, we did do this because of this and this. The only thing that William Ruto is doing is to divert attention of the people to the reality, to the real issues that Kenyans want to have. So I'm not having a, any fear of contradiction towards whatever is going to happen because it is a real revolution of the people. Because Kenya inafinya mutu wa Mount Kenya, ndio inafinya mutu wa Nyanza. Kenya inafinya mutu wa Nyanza, ndio inafinya mutu wa Ukambani. Kenya inafinya mutu wa Ukambani, ndio inafinya mutu wa Kisi. So it's the same across the board. As long as every region is standing at their position to claim whatever they were promised. And that is why Gamma Nation has come out to say that we will not be diverted when it comes to the attention of the real issues. But we want them to fulfill whatever they want to do. As we speak now, whatever they promised in one Kenya region, as we speak now, I can count them. When you look at the issue of Mira, William Ruto said that the Mira of course business was going to have a connection of Somali and Kenya. Yesterday or the other day he was in Somali. We've not seen anywhere when it comes to the issue of Mira being addressed literally by the president. When you look at rice of the Mount Kenya region, when you look at milk, when you look at coffee, they're just saying day in, day out. The other day, when you look at the list of the people that were listed when it comes to the regions, those who are going to benefit from, benefit from, of course, fertilizer. Mount Kenya region was exempted. Their name was not there. Even their counties was not there. So this is a criteria that Mount Kenya region leaders must come out to demand whatever it is right. Let not your attention be diverted to things that are not sensible to you. So if today you are addressing us that Uru Kenyatta is not paying tax, go and fulfill whatever you promised Mount Kenya region. Stop dividing attention of Mount Kenya region from, of course, the taxation and also downscaling the security of Uhuru Kenyatta. They want Mount Kenya region to spend all time speaking about the security of Uhuru Kenyatta and it is none of their business. Whatever they want is about the tea sector being addressed, the, the, the coffee sector, rice, mirror, and their milk. 
And that is what they want. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? It seems like I've advocated for Kikuizu, but I want to say this. This country, they must fulfill whatever they promised people. So what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. Please consider, consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. By the way, we are having a fundraising to support this channel so that we can buy a camera, a standard and light. Please, if you are willing to support this channel, this is the number that you can support this channel through. So thank you so much for those who are continuing to contribute and donate. I want to appreciate you so much. May God bless you and add more every day, every day. Otherwise, thank you so much. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.